The race is on to find a coronavirus vaccine. FDA Commissioner Stephen Hahn said he's willing to fast track the authorization of a vaccine before phase three trials end. This could mean we see a vaccine before the end of the year. NBC News medical correspondent Dr. Jo Dr. John Torres joins me now. All right, Dr. John, what's this FDA emergency authorization process look like? How fast exactly is it going? What are they going to miss out on? And Savannah, it can get very confusing because this isn't something that we've seen most of us, at least in our lifetime, but the FDA typically does what they call an approval process. And drugs, vaccines, they'll go through three different human phase trials after they've already gone through animal trials. In between each trial, a lot of data analysis, a lot of number crunching, and then you start the other trial. And then typically what happens is once they get through those trials, then they'll look at the approval process. This can take years, on average for vaccines, around 11 years. Well, now we have a pandemic pandemic. So push forward to 2020, they're saying, we don't have time for that. So let's use this emergency use authorization. And what happens here, instead of doing the robust trials and studies and data analysis they do, they say, we need to look at it from a point of view, do the benefits outweigh the risks? In other words, we have something bad going on right now, the coronavirus pandemic, we need a vaccine. Is there a way we can bridge that gap, at least temporarily using this emergency use authorization? It's a temporary Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.